Hello, uh, this is going to be just a quick video. Uh, I'm just, well, I'm really impatient and I really want to show you guys uh, the so far combined mode of the throttle bots. Uh, the combiner a robot that results with the, all of those doesn't have a name yet. Or there's a lots of people uh, shooting out names on the uh, on the internet. Uh, throttle, throttle boss and throttle boss I like, but because <laughs> they're throttle bots, you know. But yeah, we're still missing one car, uh, which sort of looks like a retool of Trace right here, which is gonna be blue and gonna form the uh, left arm thing. So um, yeah. Uh, I've placed all the uh, uh, all the uh, vehicle into their bo uh, vehicle mode because it's easier for them to uh, to switch to limb mode, except for uh, side load, which is much easier to transform into a torso once he's a uh, fully robot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get started real quick. Uh, grind rod is pretty much the easiest to do. Just lift the bumper up like this, make a stumpy foot, and then you take the the uh, the foot which has the the uh, lower clip right here because there's one with higher ones and the lower ones the lower ones just slides underneath the, th the feet right here uh, underneath yeah and it just clamps right there it really solid like this now you can take the uh, knee oops the knee clamp. Uh, I was told that they are pretty. Uh, they are completely unique to each other. So hopefully, I just picked up the right one. And did I? Yes. So these clamps in the sides hold right here, which are uh, gas caps, I think. And you just plug in right in and snap this one and this one. So we have one leg done. Set this one aside. Same thing for Aurora. You just lift the front bumper, place it like this, and same thing for the foot. You might want to just uh, lower the uh, toes down. And these two holes right here, those two pegs, fits into the these two holes. I've been having a lot of difficulty with this. It's really freaking tight, and I'm afraid to break it, but. Yeah, I think I think it's it. So we have another foot. Nope, it's not it's not tight enough. All right, now it's now it's in it. So we have the other stumpy feet. And the same thing, we take the clamp knees. We plug the peg right here into the hole right there, like this, and snap them with inside the gas cap. Oh wait, maybe I have it. Place them all correctly. Yeah, maybe I've got the uh, those mixed up. Interestingly enough, both fits on grain rod, but doesn't fit on him. Yeah, this one fits. So just clamp it in. Exchange clamp. Yeah, fits much better. Alright, now we have both legs done. Uh, next up, we're gonna take Trace, and basically you just uh, unpeg the legs. All the front of the car remains the same, so you just move those aside, lift the hood like this. As for the ties, the, uh, you want to uh, take the crate part and Flip it on the side like this, on the exterior. So you do the same thing, like this, and rotate the legs, leaving the ties, the chrome parts, on the other side, like this. Next up, you open up the feet, and you want to angle up the uh, bumper down like this. Same thing for the other side. Just angle those, like this. And now you take, I think it's the right arm, or right hand, and you want to place it on the, uh, the peg holes on each side, right here. 
the V T pose right there. And this one is kind of complicated because you have to also align those pegs right here and clamp the whole thing together like so. And we have trace done. You flip it like this and we have one arm done. All right, uh, shine bug. Shine bug is kind of odd because he doesn't have any much purpose. If you want to, you can use him as a backpack for the combiner. But even if you don't want to, it doesn't matter because the combiner mode still looks great without the backpack. I've seen some photos where uh, they use um, shine bug as the front chest plate, which is also kind of interesting. But to me, uh, it just makes him a huge chest, and it doesn't look, yeah, doesn't look too good. So, yeah. Also, in the instruction for the uh, combiner, uh, there's a, uh, a a small booklet that tells you how to transform each robot into their uh, gestalt mode. And f <laughs> for Shine Bug, the instruction are horrendous. There's like 20 steps only to move two legs. It's just insane. I was so confused with the instructions. I'm just gonna show you how it's transforming. First you pop the hood out and the back window like this. Flip the window, flip this down. Next up you just unpeg the whole legs like this and extend them. Move those like this. Unpeg the side door, kind of like the robot mode. Move the feet. Slide the door, and just like the robot mode, just get his feet done. Same thing for the other side. Open this up, slide it down, pull the window down, and tap it. So you just want this. Next, all you have to do is move the legs like so. Basically, you just make him like break his knees. And then you just pull the hood that's it that's the backpack they you can just fold the back window again like this and this is the backpack it's kind of look odd oh wait you need to sorry flip the legs around so that the wheels are pointing towards you and then you just close the whole thing down this is the backpack. There's like 20 steps in the uh, instruction booklet just to tell you to do this. It was a hell of a confused uh, instruction because it's so simple to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just making them do the split. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just like this. That's all you have to do. I can bend the bumper, but they, they tell you to leave it like this. So, yeah. We got backpack done, and uh, next up we have side load. Side load is a bit much complicated to turn into a torso. So <laughs> yeah, uh, the easiest uh, way to start is the legs. You pull this down, and you need to just squeeze the leg in like so, and tap the leg out. Do the same thing for this one, put the leg in, band it, and snap the kneecap. There's a uh, a peg and a hole right here, snaps them together. Next up you move those legs down and squeeze them like this. So you make them in the uh, crouch position. As for the feet, you just store them away like this. And you're pretty much done with the legs. So this is going to be the gestalt legs. As for the arms, you want to move those, uh, insert the fist in, rotate those like this, move the panel up and bring the arms inside. So you just move the panel like this, move the arms like this, and you have to uh, insert the arm like this inside. Like this. This is how you do it. You can unpeg the backpack. I know I've mentioned a lot that the backpack doesn't hold a lot 
and it's really flimsy and doesn't pay too much. I've been able to make it pay so that the hole is really tight for some reason, but it's really hard to do. I spent like 20 minutes just pegging it in. So, yeah, it's flimsy, but it's doable to make it peg and make it hold correctly. It's just that while you push on this, the the uh, peg right here is on a double joint and it moves and it's really hard to peg it in and it's, it's just hell. So, yeah, do the same thing for the other arm. This, oops, and the panel just popped out. It's a common thing with this figure. Those panel pops off easily, like really easy. <laughs> Open the, just pop it back in. It's no much, it's not trouble enough. Yeah. So you just move this like this, insert the fist in, and move the whole arm in. Like so. So basically he's doing his muscle man. <laughs> Next up you want to open the bumper and right here there's there's tiny tabs on each side. Those are gonna peg inside those. Which is gonna hold the arms like this. The, the head doesn't matter so leave it as you want. And you have this. So basically this is going to be the front, so you spin this all the way around. And as for the backpack, you just close it back in and move this open like this. So you want to peg the backpack again inside, which is really hard. And as you peg it, you move this in. There's gonna be some tiny holes right here. You need to peg those in, which is hard to do. Oops, and another peg. Just like, maybe if you can flip those out of the way like this. Yeah. I got one and I got two so it holds so you have the chest plate like this I want to move those aside and I think I just popped this hood off again all right so now you have the torso complete all right so uh, let's start assembling those first crotch plate maybe so the crotch plate has a square peg, square hole right here, and some, I don't know, stuff there. So you want to hold the peg using this one and catch it there, like so. Those side. As for the legs, you use the slider here and slide it in, like so. Uh, the other leg around. <laughs> So you make, make sure the peg, uh, the post is on the left side, goes on the left leg, like so. Same thing for the other side, just slide it in, and there we have the legs. I like to raise those down. Alright, next up, you want to just turn them around, like so, and then we're going to take the whole face plate yeah and there's a hole right here peg right here peg here hole there it's about these four pegs right here if you want you can open this up to help you slide it in uh, it's kind of complicated because the uh, pegs doesn't want to go in that much but it holds a lot so Peg one, peg two, and yeah, so it's like this, and then you close those in. So now you have the head, oh wait, <laughs> I just noticed you, um, I haven't done this on camera, sorry folks. I'm gonna raise the camera a little bit.
yeah. This, like so, yeah. Sorry for this. So yeah, like, uh, once it's placed, you just close those clip back in. I just slide the uh, slide the um, the whole shoulder and head into the pegs right there, and clamp those in, which holds the side windows real good. Yeah. I'll just move the camera some more. And lastly, you have trays. Oh wait, shine bug the backpack. Like I said, backpack is optional if you want. He already looks good like this. But the backpack is supposed to go to come out like this. So you have two pegs right two peg holes right here and two pegs right there. And some more pegs and a hole right here and here. All of those goes like here, 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 and those two. Hell of complicated because the legs moves around so it's hard to peg all of those together correctly. It's really freaking hard. I'm gonna try to do it. So these two went in fine. But not the rest, as you can see. Right, this goes in there. Those two are in. And finally, yes, all of those are pegged in now. So now you have the backpack. Kind of useless, if you ask me. Like I said, not a big fan of the backpack, but I don't know. I think they meant to do it like this. So you turn them around. And lastly, we have Trace. Now, if you look at Trace, there's a kind of a uh, triangle pointing down on the, uh, underneath the chest and two peg holes. Those goes right here, but make sure that the triangle is po also pointing down. So you want to rotate this all the way around and then you peg the Trace in. Now, my main concern was like, as you can see, it's only two pegs only two small pegs so I was wondering like I was really afraid that it won't hold too much but I was quite surprised actually so let's just peg and trace in and there we have the gestalt mode and like I said I was really afraid about the the arm not holding too much I can pick him up and lift him just by holding trace and it holds real good so, an amazing job. <laughs> and we can, we are left with this cannon. So we can just peg it in the end. Thumbs in the way. And like I said earlier in the uh, previous reviews, the hand doesn't even have to hold a gun to hold it correctly. It's good like this. And there we have, so far, the combined mode of throttle boss or the throttle bots <laughs> size comparison uh he's actually incredibly amazing here's tfc hercules with the uh, uh the add-on kit on him can you see <laughs> he's actually much bigger well maybe a head bigger uh maybe you don't see too much but uh Hercules' head uh, comes up about the shoulder of the uh, Gestalt mode of the Throttle Bots. So, he's an insanely big figure. <laughs> I think uh, Hercules is the biggest one I have in my collection, along uh, the uh, TFC um, jets, the aerial bots. So, uh, yeah. As for uh, articulation, he's actually incredibly articulate. He's got nice joints. Obviously, you can hold his gun straight. You have legs incredibly tight, and those are the uh, thighs for uh, from uh, so, so, you know, side load. So you can even kick, and he's gonna hold it high. He holds it like really nice, and he's got knee joints. Then you have ankle pivots, so you can give him a lot of cool positions. That's the legs also. Gonna make him a sidekick. Nice red shitty joints. Oh, and I just pop the connectors. Ah. Alright. <laughs> it's holding. Alright. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, here was the uh, Gestalt mode for the throttle bots, which is an awesome figure. I just can't wait to have the final piece. <laughs> There's some nice light piping. The head's on a ball joint. As you can see, the LED light piping is nice. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no dates for um, the final bots. Apparently, it's coming in the second quarter of 2K5, uh, 2015. <laughs> 2K5. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get my hands on him. So uh, until then, uh, thank you for watching.